<sighs> uh, I didn't think I did. I thought it was 60 points I needed to get. I uh, forgot. That's a cool background, too. That that old western looking thing. Do you want to play again? No, I don't. I don't want to get my jiggy and kick your ass. That's what I'd rather be doing, is kicking your ass. Yeah, kicking Grunty's ass is quite a challenge in this game. But she was hard enough in the first one, but man, in this one, holy crap. I remember it. I'll just remember it like it was yesterday, my friend. And it's not a pretty sight when you lose to that. So around the other side of the castle we go to the junk ball pad, and we will jump up and get our jiggy, and we'll be on our way. We'll be pretty much free of this area. Yeah, shut up, I hear ya. You're not a jiggy. You're not a jinjo. You're not a doctor! And you don't have the medical background to squeeze a pimple! Okay. Well, I guess it's about time we went ahead and did the van thing, which I really hate this. Because in practice, I'm telling you, I had to go back and change like five times. Because there was always another door that I forgot to... Um... That I forgot to open as the other form, and it kind of really got on my nerves. Dude, sure, don't even give me a chance. Don't even give me a chance. You know, you just... You, you didn't even swing your hammer. You just walked right over me and kicked my ass, and that's so not fair. So, let me try that again. I mean, I'm pretty sure that that's that the point of this platform is to get to Wumba's place. Otherwise, I know of no other way to get over there. But, uh... But, yeah, if you jump from here, you can get there. And, just make your way up. Don't miss the warp point. Hoo! Except we don't have a Globo. Yikes. I hope I didn't forget to pick one up. I wonder if it's actually inside. I think it might be inside with her. Either that or it's on one of these platforms over here. No. Well, they say it's usually pretty close to her. Close to them, whatever. I will, I, I bet you it's inside. Uh. But, just want to make sure, because if it's not... Yeah, it is! It's right there! They just gave us a break on that one. Alright. You have Globo. Want to get to Humba? Yes. Sure. We've got a Globo. Okay, put it in there. Magic ready. Jump in one more pool. Be glad to, Han. Oh, I hate that Han! <laughs> You know, I've also been trying to work on my snake voice, but I'm really not very good at it. What do I call this van? Van carries much coins. Much coins! <laughs> like a Chrono Trigger reference, boy. i tell ya. So one thing that's kind of weird about this game, and I don't know if I've mentioned it, but a lot of the things that you transform into are like non-living things in this game. Like in the first game, you transformed into an alligator and, uh, you know, um, a termite and a bee, like living things, animals. But in this game, you transform into mostly, like, machines, like detonators, vans, and I think you turn into a submarine at one point. The nice thing about the van, you just drive right over these, annihilate them. So we can come over here and, crap, I didn't blow up the gate. See, that's already one thing I'm going to have to do now. I'm going to have to transform back into Banjo, because if we come over here with a grenade egg to blow this up, and then come back in here as a van again. Ugh. It's just, unless you have this whole thing planned out, I'm telling you. Ugh, so let's go see what else we can to do. Make sure we, you know, like, make a list of this stuff or something. I know there's a couple of things in here I can do. You come over here to these doors and honk your horn, and you can get stuff. But just make sure you, like, check everywhere. Can't get in there yet. Shoot, I think that's yet another thing that I needed to do before I turned into a van. Let's get Mumbo over here to power this up. There's the kid that's overeating. He won't leave. He's one of the mom's kids that she's looking for. But he's the one that you won't be able to get to her until much later. <laughs> nice try, but you couldn't kill me. Got my brothers, but you didn't get me. Oh, uh, don't even get me started on that joke. So you can just pretty much run over everything. You're, like, pretty much indestructible in this form, which is awesome. 
Okay, pay here. It says pay here to enter the fearsome furnace of the inferno. So, go ahead. Pretty much got unlimited coins here, so. The ride is now open! Bomb, 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 bomb. The inferno. My first thought when I opened this was okay, I gotta go switch back to explore it. But no, you actually want to drive in as this form because there's another door in here. This is one thing I didn't do last time, so. <laughs> it's good to be doing this now. I'm pretty sure you can drive in the lava with this thing, too. I mean, this thing is, like, awesome. Ha! Ah, I'm gonna run over you! I'll shoot bubbles up your nose! Oh. Cheeto page. Alright. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Hey, yeah, there's the globo right there. Hey, I wonder if you could, like, just go to globo as your other form, or go to mumbo as your other form, and then switch. Here's the warp point there. That's the nice thing, though, when you have the warp points, it makes it all a lot easier to get around. So can I just, like, stop here as my other form, and get mumbo, and then... Hey, look at there! Do -do -do -do. Man, I'm tearing up your house here, Mumbo. What's up, man? Check out what you can to do. <laughs> he looks pissed off. He's like, get the fuck out of here with that fucking thing, man. Jeez, man. And there's a thing in here, a monster. Jeez. Okay, fine. I guess we're not welcome at Mumbo's place. I'll have to go turn back into Banjo-Kazooie. I guess we might as well war back now. Now that we've opened this up, there's really... There will be other stuff we can do with it, but for now I'm going to switch back. And later we'll cover the rest of the stuff that we need to do. So... Ooh, ooh, witchy world. This world is so crazy. Oh, Banjo was on his back. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. So now is when we really get to start taking advantage of these warp points. For example, we're going to warp back to the beginning and blow out that gate before we forget to do that. And this will only take about 15 seconds and then we'll just go straight to Mumbo's place. Right here, big boy, come and get me. Boom! Yeah, so you'll also need that open for Mumbo actually later on, so it's good that we did that first. So it would have been just hilarious if I'd gone and gotten Mumbo and then found out I couldn't get in there, because actually one of the things you need to do with him is in there. So it's good that I did that. There's also whoop. Jeez, lost my sense of direction there. Wouldn't be the first time. Ah, that's hardly a first though, me losing my sense of direction. Jeez, I mean, I could look out and see the sun rising and not even know which direction that is. Because the sun doesn't have a brain, how could it possibly know to rise in the east every day? I mean, the sun doesn't have brain cells, so that's a logical proof right there that it couldn't possibly know, right? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got a Globo. Let's give Magic Creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yes. I want your help. I just fart. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Once again with the same conversation. How about a little less conversation, a little more action? Go Mumbo. Go Mumbo. It's your birthday. I love that sound he makes. So perfect with his perfectly round head. It's just, oh man. Okay, and once again we will be utilizing the warps to their utmost. To their utmost. I'm pretty sure the word is utmost, but it seems like upmost would make the most sense. I don't know. <laughs> Yet another one of those random things that I could write about in a book, you know, Louis Grizzard style, and probably be a millionaire. <laughs> like, I figured out, you know, there's things like that that I figured out in this world. Like, like when a song is in three time, when it goes dun 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 I figured out why songs like that always sound cheerful. Because that's the rhythm of a child skipping. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. You know? And I bet nobody's ever figured that out before, but I did. Well, I'm sure somebody's figured that out, but still, I've never heard anybody else say it. So. Of course, then again, I haven't been in on every conversation in the world that's ever happened, so I shouldn't claim to know anything. 
Look at that, all that time you spent there, you know, doing your magic, and the monster had a chance to appear behind you. So that opens up a uh, door, I guess, and uh, something else. I don't know. So that's one of three different things that Mumbo can do in this world. Oop, and I just hicked it up again. Hicked up again. Excuse me. Alright, where's the war point? We need to go to the space world. There are two very nearby uh, Mumbo pads that we need to do there. And then we'll just return him to his house and we'll turn into Banjo-Kazooie and we'll be ready to kick some serious ass then. Oh, hi.